offer is before the school board. Um, I want you all to help me with this, but see, I only read an article this morning about it. Mm -hmm. But uh, my understanding is that the, <clears throat> the Housing Trust has um, increased its offer to the school board of 5,000, 500,000 and 525,000. 525,000. 525,000. 525, thank you. Yes. We hadn't heard that. Okay. Um, and it's asking, um, what, and what was the, um, uh, the third um, the appraisal? Appraisal. How much was that? 638. 638. 638. The third appraisal was 638. Um, if the the school board does not accept the um, um, latest offer by the uh, by, by the housing trust, then the process will go to the uh, upset go into the upset bid process. Um, <clears throat> so that will be the critical point at which we. Uh, at which the school board will decide who gets the property. And it will come down to uh, who bids the highest. Um, and, and that will be the only chance for uh, the trust, the housing trust, to be in the competition. So if there were ever a time when this council could be of assistance monetarily. It would be during the upset bid process to assist the. Uh, um, what is it? Uh, land and housing trust. trust. Land yes. and housing trust. Land and housing trust in the in this upset bid process. Those are. I mean. Do you think this? I don't know. You think if they had come up with 638 that it would be a done deal or no? I don't know. Um, I expect, um, and this is, uh, I mean, I know you don't, it, it just, you don't, this, you this don't have a crystal guess. ball. I'm just, that's more of a. I would expect that they'll have other bids. They, yeah, Dorothy, can I speak to Go that? Right here. Okay, Friday, Vincent, Go Vincent Gordon sent, okay. <coughs> Got the, and this, long in the talk, this answers, uh, Madam Mayor, one of your questions or uh, when Felicia Winfield talked about behind closed doors. Friday, Vincent Gordon sent to the um, school board an increase in the bid to $525,000. By Monday morning, Quality Homes sent in a bid for $600,000. So where did this come from? When we talk about bedroom stuff, and we know that's Ron Jackson, who has bought up half of West Southern Pines, and is building houses that, in most cases, are not acceptable, but they are acceptable if you are a military person who's just gonna be here for a short period of time and you need somewhere to live. Ron Jackson is raping our community. That's the way we feel. He gets permission or whatever from the town, and, and I'm sure if he meets certain qualifications, you have to do that. But I also know that he has been under fire for using or, or building shabby homes, new homes. So where did this 600,000 bid come from over the weekend to upset without even asking for it to the school board. And I have to tell you, I have a call in to John Barath to ask that same question. And the fact that if you're going to try to pacify us with four acres, which does not accomplish what we need to do on that property, and then you got quality homes that's going to bid on the other which connects to the massive land that he has bought in Lost City that Pajapu once owned and everything else that Pajapu owned. 
Our community is so upset. Our community is the worst that I have seen any community. And you all know I spent 40 years in Durham. But nothing like this has ever happened in Durham. And nothing has happened here before. So that's why this community is, if you set a match, it, we would just go up because we're just so angry. And like I said, we have worked for things. We have not asked for handouts in this community. And y'all know that. At the same time,